Apparently, there are several chains, clothing chains in the U.S. that are selling faux fur uh, clothing, right? Now, you think that it's faux fur, fake fur, not made of animal whatsoever. Well, it turns out that there have been several um, undercover investigations that show that these fake fur coats and other clothing are actually made of something known as raccoon dog, okay? And there are places in China where people kill these animals and they make clothing out of it and then they ship this, these clothes to the United States and then they are sold. Some of the chains that sell these clothes include Arden B, which is a chain I shop at a lot. Uh -oh. um, Grasshopper's Children's Clothing, Burlington Coat Factory. Okay, now, first off, I can't, as you're telling, I, sure, I'm amazed. Uh -huh. What I'm more amazed by is raccoon dog over here. So what is that? That's a dog, but that just looks like a raccoon? It's in the same family as dogs, uh, the fox. Uh -huh. All right, that's so, badass. Yeah. That's a cool-looking animal. So uh, they say, oh, no, no, of course, we're not going to do fur. We'll give you fake fur so you feel good about it. Meanwhile, they go to work on this raccoon dog over here, mm -hmm. skin his ass, and put it on the coat, right? Right. So it's actually real fur, uh -huh. and they're selling it as fake fur. Right. Um, yeah, that's both terrible and slightly unsurprising. Mm -hmm. Okay, because here's my guess. They're like, how are we going to do fake fur? That seems like kind of a pain in the ass, right? We got to do something synthetic or something like that? Mm -hmm. This is raccoon dogs lying around. Who's going to know? Who's going to know? Who? Right? So then they go to work on the, the, those homes over there. Yeah. Now, that, yeah. that sucks, obviously. And uh, so now people who are trying to avoid buying fur to do the right thing might be doing something even worse. Yeah. Irony on top of irony. Okay, let me just say something. First of all, uh, CBS News did a whole investigation of this, right? Mm -hmm. And they uh, basically showed people how you can differentiate between fake fur and real fur. Mm -hmm. And if you open up the lining, you'll see the skin of the animal if it's real fur. Mm -hmm. So they went to all of these different retailers, and they opened up the lining, and they saw that it had the animal's skin attached. Mm -hmm. Okay? And also, I just want to say, dude, if you don't want to buy animal fur or whatever. Don't, don't buy fur, period. Fur is ugly. Mm -hmm. There's nothing uglier than fur. Fur coats, real fur, fake fur, whatever. It's all tacky. It's all ugly. It's all over. Stop using it. Uh, as To paraphrase OJ, that's an ugly-ass coat, okay? And you shouldn't be wearing it anyway. Look, I don't know if it's ugly or not. I don't mm -hmm. care. But I feel bad now that I saw the raccoon dogs. And apparently they got some sick videos of these uh, dogs getting ripped apart, right? Right. And look, a lot of this is getting made in China. You know, I hate to hit them again, but... Uh, you know, manufacturing in China, some of the standards have not caught up uh, to other parts of the world, okay? And believe you why, they're going to cut some corners. Now, Raccoon Dog got caught in the middle of that corner, and they cut his ass. And so uh, if you're an animal rights activist, you're going to go crazy over this. If you just care about, you know, animals like a lot of people do. I mean, if you didn't like Michael Vick, wait till you get a load of what these guys are doing mm -hmm. to make your fur coats. And by the way... The retailers here in the U.S., they're not, you know, the innocent guys here. It's not all China's fault. They know very well that this fur is real fur, that it's the raccoon dog fur. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Raccoon dog is just a ridiculous name. But it is. It is. It's, <laughs> but, no, they know that it's real. And the thing is, right now there's a loophole in, in the federal law. It's uh, the Federal Fur Protections Labeling Act that allows this to happen. Yeah. So right now there are different uh, representatives that are trying to change this law. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I mean, is it driven by corporate America again? <laughs> Shocking. Of course! They want to make a buck, and it's hard to do that here in the U.S., but then you go to a partner in China, and you're like, oh, you know, you want to wrestle up some raccoon dogs and go to work on them, and then we all make money. Everybody signs on to that. And that's why the lax I mentioned the lax standards over there and how that's relevant. But don't get me wrong. As Anna said, we're definitely culpable as, as well. Watch more clips at theyoungturks.com.